Hi, hello, and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to dive into a brand that has popped up in Walmart, Reloved by Revolution Makeup or Makeup Revolution. Honestly, they have so many subcategories, it's hard to keep up with. And generally, they're known as a brand that dupes other brands, right? That's all fine and dandy. I mean, look at Elf and them duping Charlotte Tilbury every chance they can get. I don't really use Makeup Revolution on my channel because I have seen people on their social media accounts participate in some kind of like bullying behavior. And I've just been really turned off by Makeup Revolution as a whole. But when I saw this brand in Walmart, I noticed everything was like under $10. There's definitely a market for that. There's definitely a need for that, especially when e.l.f. is up there in the double digits. You know, who remembers when everything used to be between like one and five dollars from e.l.f.? It's just not that way anymore. So I wanted to get some things from the brand and try them out for you to kind of see if it's worth it. I think it's important to try makeup from all price ranges because Affordability is relative. This is truly now some of the most low priced makeup products from the drugstore that you can find. So let's get into it, see how they work. If that sounds good to you, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Now, my Walmart was pretty picked clean in terms of shades to choose from and products to choose from. So it seems like this is reaching a lot of people. And I feel like a lot of us have the kind of mentality, well, it's $4.98, let me just try it. If it doesn't work, then I didn't invest a lot of money into it. Some things I will have to supplement, but I'll like also keep it drugstore just for the theme of it all. First things up is the H2O Hydrate Primer. They had several different primers, but of course, I'm always gonna go with one that is hydrating. It's less than half of a fluid ounce, so. That's also something to consider. If you're finding you're not emptying your products, then it might be good. So it's a gel. Oh, and it smells like grape candy. So it feels definitely more like a serum. It's not like gonna be super pore filling or anything like that. After reading through the ingredients, this is just basically water and glycerin. That's definitely gonna keep you hydrated and keep your skin really plump. Water and glycerin is basically what MAC Fix Plus is. And a lot of people use that to set their makeup because it makes everything look more skin-like. Other than the scent so far, this is pretty nice. It is as it's drying, just, I mean, the very tiniest little bitest, <laughs> little bitest tacky. Moving on to the base. This is the Super Serum Hyaluronic Acid Foundation and I am in the shade F1. I kind of have high hopes for this because I love a sheer serum, just juicy skin kind of base. And it comes in a dropper. It's not my favorite form of dispensing, but here's the texture. Very thin and runny. That texture makes me want to grab a dense brush. So we'll do the brush on the one side. It's very cooling. Was not expecting that. It feels like water. And this shade is a little bit yellow, but you know, can make it work light coverage okay it's looking really good what the crap i know there are other drugstore brands like l'oreal has a serum like foundation and neutrogena does as well those brands are not cruelty free and revolution is okay um that looks and feels fantastic on the skin for science of course go in with a sponge on the other side even though it is that thin serum texture, I'm finding a, a little bit goes quite a long way. This is giving me a more sheer wash of color because the damp sponge, but holy guacamole and tortilla chips. That is looking really, really nice. Looks super skin-like, feels like nothing on the skin. It's not doing weird things on my nose and in between my brows, which is like, those are my areas. If something's going to look squirrely, it's going to be there. You get less product is 0.84, but when's the last time you used up an entire bottle of foundation? 
is really gorgeous and I'm kind of like highly impressed because I'll admit I came in as a hater. I didn't want to like anything from Makeup Revolution because I had my mind made up, but this is really beautiful. So for concealer, they had concealer palettes with, they were in different shade ranges and it had multiple shades. I did not get the concealer because I did not like the idea of a cream concealer. So I'm just gonna go in NYX Bear With Me Serum Concealer. Keep it on the serum train, if you will. So I like to just take a dupe. A doop, a dot. Put her here, put her there. Like even around my nose where I'm usually self-conscious of my broken capillaries. I think this concealer is like, what? $10? But it is really good and a little goes a long way. And it's sitting nicely with this serum foundation. It's like their BFF. She is looking dewy. She is looking fresh. She is looking hydrated. She's looking like she takes her vitamins and drinks her smoothie every single day. This is looking fantastic. Like I said, my Walmart was kind of picked through, so I didn't get a powder. I'm just going to use this CoverGirl Clean Fresh Powder. This little elf poofy guy. If you see one of these in your drugstore, definitely pick it up. So I like to use sponges like this in targeted areas where I kind of want more concentration of powder. Then I just take a big old honking brush for the rest of the face, mainly the perimeter where I am going to put bronzer. For bronzer, I did pick up the Super Bronzer Powder in the shade Light. So it looks really nice. Okay, wow. It does feel nice and uh, creamy. So let's see how this color reacts to my fair skin. I'm just going to place it in all the usual places. Okay, this is fair enough. And it's not like immediately, bam, pigment in your stinking face. You can build it up. So I really appreciate a bronzer that you can build. Okay, well, this is good too. I mean, I didn't want everything to be bad, but I didn't know it would be this good. And because I have such so much copper in my hair, I can get away with a pretty warm toned bronzer and it still looked nice on my skin. But I would say... This is pretty neutral. It's mostly neutral, leaning, leaning a touch warm, but it's definitely not orange on my skin by any means. And honestly, it's smoother than some of my more expensive bronzers. The first one that pops into my head is the Victoria Beckham one. It is pressed really hard in the pan, and this one that costs less than $5 is a finer texture, and frankly, it looks really nice on the skin. My favorite bronzer from the drugstore is the Flower Beauty Heat Wave Bronzer, but that one is luminous. So this one might be a contender for my favorite matte bronzer from the drugstore. Like, like I said, I'm not blowing smoke up revolutions, you know what. I came in fully expecting not to like any of this, so I'm really impressed. This bronzer looks great. It's a great, it's a great one. They do have a couple of options for blush, but I decided to get the powder blush and highlight little duo. This is in the shade Cute. So, just a nice rosy pink and a champagne highlight. So I want to touch the blush first. Okay, feels just as creamy as that bronzer. And I'm using a light hand because I feel like this could be pigmented. It's super pretty. It is super pretty. The accessibility of Walmart. The accessibility of the price. Now I just put a lot on because I like a lot of blush and I want you to see that it can be sheer, it can be built up. I appreciate a powder that doesn't make my skin look bone dry. So let's go in with the highlight. So not quite as creamy as the blush and bronzer. It's a good color for me. Well, well, well. I know Makeup Revolution does really nice highlighters. Seems like they use the same formula. This just looks like wet skin. Look at that. Are you kidding me? 
<sighs> Y'all, I did not expect such greatness. Just proof that you don't have to spend a lot of money on makeup to get really great products unless you want to spend a lot of money on makeup. That's your prerogative. That's sometimes my prerogative. Um, but this looks absolutely gorgeous. And again, I am very happy to have another blush and highlight from the drugstore. And not only are these products cruelty free, they're also vegan. So they have several of these little eyeshadow palettes in different colorways. I picked up the shade Empower because I like purples and berries because I have blue eyes. I'm going to take the creamy shade and wow, they set on the lid. I had a hard time picking the shades because there were some very basic ones and then there was some with blues. Wow, great, fantastic, great. I'm going to take this shade next and just the slightest bit of kick up, but I did pick up a lot on the brush. Oh yeah. That's got pigment, baby. All right, that applied beautifully. It was easy to blend all over the lead. I'm gonna take this deepest shade in the palette and build up the outer corner. I'm not doing anything like super magical. In terms of the eyeshadow look, it's gonna be pretty basic. I just want to test out the formula, test out how everything blends. Take this on the lower lash line. It's probably weird for you guys to hear the storm in and also birds. The birds at my house don't care. They will still be out on their little birdhouse chirping away in a full-blown thunderstorm like it is right now. <laughs> I mean, I love their tenacity. These so far seem like shadows that you don't have to think about. If you just wanted to add one of them, it would look great. If you wanted to use a bunch of them like I'm trying to do, it's going to look great. I'm going to take my finger into this shimmer shade. And tap that on the lid. It's not super metallic, probably would do it some favors to use it wet. So these palettes are really nice. In my opinion, just as good as the little e.l.f. $3 quads and you get six shades instead of four. So definitely worth checking out. It's a loose, I was not expecting that. I picked the shade Gold Star. It is, I honestly did not expect it to be a loose glitter. <laughs> I guess I didn't um, read. So because I don't have the NYX glitter glue right now, I'm just taking some Duo Lash Glue. I'm going to dab that onto the lid. And then dip a finger in the glitter. And voila. Very messy. But the glitter is very pretty. I definitely don't think a loose glitter is very user friendly or like everyday person kind of product. They can be a little difficult to work with. If you have a place for it in your life and in your collection, it's very pretty, multifaceted. It's not too, too chunky, but I do find it really hard to work with. So it's not something from this line that I personally would recommend. I'm going to run some NYX Thick It Stick It through my brows and you're gonna take a little pump break. We'll get into the rest of the makeup. Okay, totally regret that glitter because it is now all over my face. They had several mascaras, but I'm going to use the Power Lash Waterproof. It's a big old wand with a lot of space in between the bristles, so I have curled my lashes. Let's see what it can do. And I picked waterproof because I have lashes that don't like to stay curled. 
and waterproof is a good way to keep them on their toes. It's a very thin formula. Oh shoot, that's what I was worried about. I just applied so much to my lashes. This is an emergency. So this mascara is not doing a whole lot of anything from my lashes. It's supposed to be waterproof and yet the curl has never fallen faster. The brush just picks w up way too much product. There are much better mascaras from the drugstore. Found our first bust. Pass on the mascara, at least the waterproof kind. It is a total dud. They do have a couple shades of the coal eyeliner, a brown, a black, but I picked up the beige one to use in my waterline. So it definitely works, but it's hard to beat the Essence Extreme Lasting Pencil in Silky Nude. Because you see how I'm having to go back and forth several times. You don't have to do that with the Essence one. And it might just be this shade, but it is it's kind of chunky. And it does feel kind of powdery and chalk-like. The liner is a no. Other than the eyeshadow palette, we're not doing too good in the eye category. I did pick up one of their freckle pins. I got the shade brown and I'm very curious to try this out. Step one is getting it open. Are you kidding me? It took me that long to open the box and then the pin is also wrapped in plastic. Okay, and it is pretty chunky of a pin, so I'm scared. <laughs> Okay, so it's definitely not a pen where you like press in one spot and then you can use your finger and like use that one dab for multiple freckles. Nope, that's, that's what you get. They're not going anywhere. When I dab my finger over them, the pigment goes down a little bit, but you're not getting more than one freckle. So that makes it kind of really obvious, but it is easy to use, so we'll give it that. So I'm definitely going to have to go back over with my blush brush and just kind of knock those back a little bit. Because freckles come from underneath. If I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times. If you're doing faux freckles, you don't want to just have the freckles on your face without going back over them. They are definitely not the most natural looking freckles, but it's a, I mean, it's a pretty good pin if you want to play around with adding freckles to your look. And again, it's one of those cases where it's so inexpensive, it's worth giving it a try just to see if that's something you might like the look of on your face. So not my favorite by any means, but definitely a good option. My Walmart was kind of picked through in terms of the lip products, but I did pick, <laughs> pick up this baby tint lip and cheek tint. I got the shade Fuchsia, which number one, what was I thinking? But number two, the shades were kind of weird. Some of them look like bronzer shades. It says it's tint, we shall see. Um, it is very thin. Feels kind of like jelly. Like it's cool on application and then you can like immediately feel it drying. definitely a weird texture on the lips. It is looking very pretty. And it doesn't transfer. Now that it's kind of like absorbed into my lips, it doesn't feel like anything. The color is pretty. I have glitter on my lips because I have glitter everywhere thanks to that glitter, which I will not be using again. I'll have to test it out on the cheeks as well, but as a nice wash of color on the lips, it's actually really nice. And you know, that that weird kind of like, it's just a very unique texture. And it honestly reminds me of the Rare Beauty Tinted Lip Oils. It has that same feel on the lips. So if you're looking for a more affordable option to Rare Beauty, you might want to check out the little baby tint. Because honestly, the shine on the Rare Beauty ones last 0.28 seconds, and so does this, so very good alternative. You heard it here first. <laughs> and last but not least, I picked up the Power Fix Mist. 
Oh, the spray is very aggressive. And I'm holding my hand like really far back. Smells not too overpowering, thank goodness. But that is a soaker. Oh my goodness. So I'm not going to be wearing this like all day long. But I will wear it for a couple of hours. I have some errands to run. And then I just have more work to do. So I'll have to wear different faces of makeup throughout the day. Here is the finished look of everything that I picked up from my Walmart from the Relove brand from Makeup Revolution. And I think the skin looks absolutely stunning. I'm gonna do a quick y'all or naw, nah, okay? So a yes or no of the things I tried today. Starting with the little primer. It was fine revolutionary absolutely not but it did create a really nice base it did make me feel hydrated this one for me is honestly like kind of in the middle it's a it's a man the serum foundation however is a y'all like y'all need to try this really reminds me of like some more expensive skin tints and it looks absolutely stunning really really thrilled about this bronzer is another y'all look at this like it looks so good and the color is not too orange which i'm always kind of afraid of the texture of this powder is what really surprised me it went on super smooth it's not too opaque to begin with definitely can build it up or sheer it down depending on what you are feeling that day you know so this is definitely like a y'all go check it out the bronzer is a win i have the same sentiments for these little blush and highlighter duos it has that creamy powder texture that isn't going to look chalky or cakey on your skin especially when you set it with a spray and the star was really the highlighter for me it looked like wet skin didn't look chalky or chunky which we super appreciate so this is like definitely y'all need to go check it out the eyeshadow palette is kind of like the primer in terms of it's just kind of in the middle for me the matte shades were really really beautiful honestly but this like wannabe metallic shade didn't do very much for me if there's a colorway that you like i would say go ahead and try it the mattes are great shimmer was not so that's why it's kind of like in the middle the little pot of glitter that completely surprised me is a gnaw like pass on this i don't know a lot of people that are wearing loose glitters these days especially since there are brands like Glisten Cosmetics and Danessa Myricks and even NYX has glitter in some kind of medium already mixed up for you and ready to go. I just don't think this is like everyday person friendly so it's going to be a gnaw for me as well as the mascara. This is like one of the worst mascaras I've tried in a really long time to be honest. It did absolutely nothing for my lashes except for weigh them down. It was wet and thin and it just like slicked onto my lashes immediately like sucked the curl right out of them it got everywhere it was super messy and the brush just holds i mean way too much product and absolutely not no 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 pass on the mascaras the freckle pin for what it is i'm gonna give it a y'all like y'all probably if you're experimenting with freckles I would say give it a try again super affordable just know that they're not very forgiving so when you place a freckle that's where it's going to be you can't dibby dab over it and kind of blend them out so that is something to be aware of but if like i said if you're wanting to try the freckle look for an affordable price this is a pretty good pen and the color brown it's not too warm and it's definitely not too gray so good 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 <laughs> the little baby tint lip and cheek tint i was taken aback by the texture of this and how it feels so cooling but like instantly dries so it's not very hydrating if that's what you're looking for but it does leave a really beautiful color on the lips and like i said it definitely reminds me of that same texture and effect of the rare beauty tinted lip oils that are like booming popular right now so this is definitely an affordable alternative and I give it a y'all. Definitely try it out if you can find a shade that you like. I just found the shades to be a little uh, 
uh, interesting uh, choices. <laughs> but this one looks really pretty and I definitely am going to try this on the cheeks as well. And last but not least is the Power Fix Mist. This is also one of those like kind of in the middle. I do, however, feel just within the few minutes of this drying on my face, it feels so secure, like it's going to have my makeup last all day long. If I were to wear it all day long, a little bit got my hair. My hair's kind of like crunchy, <laughs> like hairspray. And some people might absolutely hate that, but I kind of like it because it really means like insurance, right? I know it's going to last. So uh, the sprayer is atrocious and the smell is not that bad. They have different versions. So if you're looking for a really accessible spray, give it a try. And that is that on the Relove Makeup Revolution brand. And overall, I'm thoroughly impressed and surprised. I think that the skin products are definitely the standout here, which in like terms of drugstore is hardly the case. But I feel like my skin looks really pretty and youthful thanks to these products. I really appreciate the accessible price point. If you have this brand in your Walmart, you might try some things out. Let me know if you have any questions about what I tried. I'll try to put in the description box how it wore for however long I wear it. I appreciate you so much for watching. If there are any other brands you would like me to test out, just let me know. I'm open to suggestions. Don't forget when we hit 1K subscribers on here, I'm doing a really big giveaway. So make sure you share this video with people who might like it. As always, be blessed and be kind. I appreciate you for watching and we'll speak again soon. Bye.